Okay, so we're on the Denali Highway, just outside Denali National Park in Alaska, and we stayed last night at the Alpine Creek Lodge. Now, this place, if you want a true Alaskan experience, this is it. Uh, out in the middle of nowhere, there is nothing really else out here for miles and miles. Probably 70 miles, I think, to the next town which we're headed. And, uh, you know, they've got their own generators to power the place up, but it is a true rustic Alaskan lodge. A lot of local people, and local I just mean Alaskan people that stay here. And we met a family here, and they've got sled dogs. And we're going to introduce them in a few minutes here. But uh, very nice people. They run uh, their sled dog races. We spent probably about an hour talking with them. And... Uh, very good experience. We didn't know we'd run into these kind of people like that. Very friendly. They showed us all their equipment and their dogs, so we'll talk about that, talk with them. But if you're ever in the area, you want a true Alaskan experience, this Alpine Creek Lodge is absolutely beautiful. Well, good morning. Um, hi, I'm Casey Randall and... I'm Matt Randall. I'm Phil Randall. I'm Addie Ann Randall. And we are Rock On Racing. We're an Alaskan family who we all mush. And uh, we have 26 dogs here at the kennel. And we're excited to tell you guys about what we do. Okay, let's see the operation. Let's see your sled and go over. Uh, you got your trophy room in here and then we can look at some dogs. Yeah, go ahead, Eddie. And why don't you tell about the sled? So this is our sled. This is a brake. So when you want to stop your team, you step on brake. And then this is a drag, so you can see it has some spikes and tread on the bottom. When you want to slow down your team, you're standing on the runners, of course, you put a foot on that, or you can control your heels so you can add, like, instead of just standing like this for hours, you can put your weight on it with your heels. And then if you, when you step on your brake, it just pops up if you get off it. So if you have to go take care of your team, like feed them, or put more booties on them. You put your snow hook down, and then with your foot on the brake, you stomp that in. And this is a self-setter snow hook. So this snow hook we strap down under the bungee, and this one will be on top so that if you, you lose your team and your sled flips over, hopefully this one will fall out and dig itself in. And that's why it has the pointed handle, not the flat handle. So if it falls upside down, it will roll itself over. It also has the outward pointing tines and the extra tine. Okay, very interesting. Maybe well, show them the flip that side and show them the runner plastic how you can change that. So, this is the runner, and then the yellow strip on the bottom is the runner plastic. And there's different colors for different types of snow. So on some sleds, you actually wax the runners, but we just use runner plastic. So I forget what temperature the yellow is for, but like red would be for warm conditions or stuff. Very cool. The fabric piece is your sled bag. You can see how it, there's zippers <laughs> on both sides and then your gear goes in it. And then if you have a dog that you want to rest or it's just like hurt or tired, then you can put it in your sled bag and you take a little bit of your gear out and strap it on top. And then it can carry your dog or a dog and your gear. Oh yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. This is your cooker. And this is heat that you can put in generators and stuff like that that uses gas to take water out of it. It also burns well. So you could put That's up mostly to four. alcohol, right? Isn't that mostly rubbing alcohol? Yeah. yeah. So you can put up to four cans of heat in there. That's some fiberglass insulation. And then you have these sticks so it doesn't melt itself into the snow. Then you fill this up with water or snow. If there, it's snow, you have to keep adding snow. And then once it's hot, you take a cooler and you pour it all into the cooler and then add meat snacks one at a time. And then 
after they're all melted, you put in kibble and then you stir it around and give it to the dogs and that's because you they don't want to hydrate when they're running all the time. So you want to give them water and food at the same thing so they'll drink water as they're eating. Okay. You, instead of bringing like our heavy duty metal bowls in their sled because they'd be really heavy, we have raced it bowls. So these are super light but they break easily. So then we have some of these ones that are tougher. So if two buddy of our little lighter ones break, we have a few that are a little heavier but are still light. Okay. These are just the bottom of a plastic bucket. And then this is our ladle. So there's different kinds of ladles. And this is also a lighter ladle than most of them because you also have this in your sled. So you don't want it to be super heavy. That makes sense. You want to um, Phil can tell you about the different kinds of oh, okay, yeah, there's a different the runner material and stuff. Um, so the, These are a couple different kinds of runner plastics and some of them are better for the um, warm and cold temperatures and um, Like some mushers Like to use uh, another kind of runner plastic. It's red for like really slushy snow because it stays on top of the slushy snow a lot better. How hard is to change that? Um, it's not too hard to change it. Does it slide onto the runners or um, is it? It slides on there, but you have to take this little. Okay, it's got pin a thing out. to lock it into you place. You have to take the pin out, and then that thing just pulls right out, and then you can just slide, oh, it, slide it out. Sometimes, like we take the end of an axe, not the sharp part, and kind of have to hit it and to get tap it, start it to get it going, first. yeah. And then once enough's out, you can you grab can it pull and pull it. it. Okay. You ready to jump on it now? You know all about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a seasoned pro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what do you guys want to show them next? You want to show them some gear? Some gear and furs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Enter the tent. <laughs> so, in here, we have um, some beaver mittens and beaver hat and then this is a sea otter hat there's a million hairs per square it. inch oh is that um, nice and then here's a couple yeah, of the trophies that we won oh very nice um this is my mom's parka for it's cold wolf weather. up here and then wolverine down here they're, they're the two oh. kinds of furs that don't get frosted so th that's the best kind of rough at least that most mushers think. And then it has a lot of insulation. The problem is that if it's like not 20 below zero, she'll start getting hot in it. So then she has to take it off. <laughs> oh, and yeah. colder weather, it's super great. Wow. These are some of our tugs and necklines. So our dogs are so excited to go that we have to use something called quick release. And so this, it would go around a metal post that they have in most dog tracks and then around the brake or a part of your sled. And then when you have all, cause it'd be like this from your sled to the metal post and it can't, they can't pull it away. And then when you're ready to go out of all of your dogs hooked off, you stand on the brake and pull us real quick. And then you let, slowly let off the brake and then you go. And you can also see how this is pretty short. Um, so they, we also have like snow hook. We have also like little rope extenders that make it longer. Yeah, this is kind of just a piece of it. Okay. These are some of our tugs. Wait just a second. These are some of our tugs and necklines. So this right here is a leader line and it goes in between the two lead dogs collars. Um. And then the rest of it, there's a long section that hooks onto the front of the sled, goes throughout the entire team, and that's the gang line. And then, so there'd be ones just like this, except they only have one step that come off it. That hooks from each dog's collar to the gang line. And then there's a tug, and it has a snap on one end, and then it also hooks from the gang line. It goes to the back of its harness to the gang line. So you can see there's some booties and harnesses. Yeah. Oh, here's all the booties. So um, we, these booties, at our house, we have a wood stove, and then we hang the booties like that so they dry after a wrong run after they get frosted up. So that's how we dry them. Over here we have, like you couldn't do a race like that I did ride, which was a thousand miles, with all that food in your sled. Think of carrying all that dog food. 
And so you have these, and they're drop bags. And so this is a Nikolai drop bag. You can see it says Nikolai on it. And they, so you would pack dog food, new booties, food for you, and put all that in your drop bag. You can have three drop bags. And then that would be sent out, and then all your garbage goes back into it. And, then and those will be out along stuff. the course, so you can get you pick them up as you need them, right? Yeah, yeah they fly they'll be out in airplanes. Oh, do they? Okay. They, yeah, you, yeah. You just and then them. you put stuff that you want back at your house in your return bag. Oh, okay. So like you'll take off all your booties from the run before, send them back to your house so they can be washed, sorted, and into their size group so you can use them again. And then you'll have a pack of new booties to put on your dogs in your drop bag. Okay. This is a dog coat. So our dogs are pretty comfortable from 0 to 20 below. That's like ideal temperatures for them. When it starts getting down to like 40 below, 60 below, you want to start putting dog coats on them. And then this is one of the headlamps we use. We have to use special batteries so it doesn't wear out in the cold. Yeah. And then you can tell these are the same brand of booties, but this is a medium and this is a large because one is red and one's yellow. Some, you have to have mandatory gear, so like an axe and snowshoes are part of your mandatory gear. Like Safety you precautions. Have to have in your sled. Yeah. Wow. Very good. Oh, that is neat. Well, should we take a look at some dogs? Yeah. So, this on, wait, let me flat rack right here, if you stand next to it and look down at that trail marker with the that okay, the stake the there. On it, yeah. yeah, the orange top. That's how, if the flat rack was the back of your sled, your lead dogs for a 16 dog team would be right there. That's how long it'd yeah, be. Yeah, that's how long it would be. Can I pet him? Yes, he does. His name is Skipper. Hey, Skipper. He's not run the Iditarod, but he's one of our, he's younger, but he's already one of our good leaders because he's learning from our older ones. And how many dogs do you have um, yourself on your team? 22. 22. But right here is 26, and then because we have four of Robert Budson's last race dogs. Oh, okay. Here. And they combined with our team last year to make a full team. Yeah. Races. And you know, we it's interesting to show people how long a string of dogs can be. Um, you think about running in a race, or I mean, not just any time you're running. And if there's a blizzard, you can't see your lead dogs. Or we run a lot in the nighttime because it's dark in Alaska um, in the winter. And so, you know, you've got your headlight and you're trying to see where are my lead dogs. Some people put, um, uh, light collars on. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. they did an awesome Very job. Very nice people. Yeah. Had a good time staying here. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Good. Congratulations. And you guys out here today? Yeah. They haven't had yeah. over to Camp Well. Yeah. You'll be seeing him. He's what, third time you've been yeah, here? Yeah, it's my yeah. third time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's been Excellent. bugging us. You guys got to come to Alaska, so. Perfect. Yeah.
This is nice. You guys got an awesome place out here. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. I haven't started the dryer back up, but. Okay. Ready to check out or anything? You guys are all good. All right. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Guys. Thanks again. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to go down. So good. Yeah. 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 We'll be seeing you again. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.